Okay. So this was on the Amazon original that we, we checked out. We watched this. But this was like a a song that they didn't put because it was, what, three minutes, some light. Um, but Tizo Touchdown, man. Having an amazing 2024 already. You'll lose a good thing. Now, I know this song by Barbara Lynn right here. So if he's doing like like a cover, like his you know his own Tizo Touchdown type cover to it, then... 100, and that's probably what he's going to do, because why would you make the same exact title of, right? So, <clears throat> let's hear it, though. Tizo, man, always a pleasure to hear him, always. Baby. Yeah, baby. It's a song. Baby, 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 baby. Okay, those jeans are wild. Y'all, I don't know what y'all going on. Those jeans are wild. I don't, this, this is, this is kind of interesting to see right now, and I'm a little bit disturbed, okay? A tad, just a tad, just a smidge. I'm a little bit disturbed with that, with the jeans right there. Out of all holes, out of all cuts in the jeans, right there. Really? Okay. Baby, Look up one man. Baby, I promise you. I'm gonna do better. Baby, yep. He made a little like 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 a rock band version. Ugh, that's so creative. He love hitting that. He that that's his baby. <laughs> and he be adding that shit whenever he can. Zaddy. <laughs> he didn't say that. He said Zaddy. Wow. Mm hmm. You know, one thing I like a lot about Tizo is how much, how much he subtly stands out, but not on like on the, but not on purpose. So he's not going out of his way to stand out. He just stands out because he's him. Okay, that sounded weird, but he's himself. <laughs> Ain't that crazy how two words that is the same word can have a, can have different connotations in 2024? Ain't that some shit? He's him. When somebody say he's him, that's that's a different that's a different connotation from he's himself. You know? That's wild. But anyway, that's Tizo. And I will say that when he was on the interview or he was on a podcast with Wallow, he had that curly hair. So the nails, is the, is the nail era gone? Is the nails too much now? Is, is he getting that fame and that notoriety and that 
type of success that he was aiming for. So now he doesn't have to do the things that he did in the beginning to make himself stand out and get recognized and noticed. I don't know. I hope he doesn't stop that, though. At least, you know, bring it out every six months or something, you know? Every five, every four, five months. But don't just, don't just stop doing the thing that, because it comes to a point where people start asking around, like, yo, Jacob, did you see, did you see the dude with nails singing at, right? Huh. Dude with nails on his hair, and it's, but now, it's like he could be, oh, well, I'm Tizo, I'm on tour with Drake. I'm getting attention from Drake. Tragedy Scott, I was on the album with him. I'm doing all these different songs, touring, right? So I don't have to do, you know what I mean? But shout out Tizo, man.